Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I'm a third grade teacher in Central California. We are at the end of May. There's nine more days of school. So we are digging into some science and I could not be more excited. So I printed out a basic package from Teachers Pay Teachers from Linda Camp and it is beautiful. We got everything, okay? We got the vocabulary. We got parts of a butterfly, parts of a caterpillar, and need a colored printer. And then we're gonna go into the kids version where they have parts of a caterpillar and then what caterpillars eat, how they protect themselves, parts of a butterfly. We have a vocabulary page for that. Life cycle of butterfly. And then we're gonna go into this life cycle and what is metamorphosis, fill out that whole page. There's plenty more pages, but these are the ones that we're going to do today. And then it's gonna come all together probably next week in a cute little booklet. So there will definitely be a part two of this video. So we are getting ready to watch a couple videos on YouTube about the life cycle of a butterfly. And then we're gonna come back and actually take a look at our caterpillars, see how they're doing. Mr. Wiggles, is it wiggling? So a little concern there. We named some of them. We have Mr. Wiggles, Miss Butters, Butter Jr., Sir Jake from State Farm. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is a perfect way to wrap up the testing. So we did our star reading assessment this morning and then now we get to look forward to the science part. So I gotta go pick up my kids from recess and then let's get started. First up, you have your butterfly. We're gonna do the parts of a caterpillar, okay? On our canvas page, you can find everything that we're doing here, okay? So we can read all about the caterpillars. We have its head, okay. these little things. Show me your, these are its tentacles, okay? Then do you guys see how, do you see our caterpillars, how they kind of look like they're furry? Yeah. Okay, but those are bristles. For teeth? No, not their teeth. Bristles. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom, they have their true legs. True legs. They have, have some legs. spherical and thorax. Thorax? Oh. Throw legs. I think those are like the little back ones. Oh, yeah. And their abdomen. On your parts of a caterpillar, <laughs> let's do what we know. So we have our head. What's another part of the body that we Trust legs. I think it was truss, but it was close to that. True, True legs. Which one were those? Because remember, there's like two sets of legs. Are those the front the ones front. or the back ones? The front. Yeah. What are these little things on top of those his head? Top of his head. Oh, were those on top of his head or on top of his body? What do we have on top of his head? His little pointy? The, the, the tentacle. tentacle. The tentacles. What are those little hairs on top of its body that make Bristles? it look kind of furry? You got it. You are on it today. And then what's this part? Right in kind of the middle of his body. Kind of like in the middle of our body. That was the age, right? No. That was the teeth. Tongue? 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 Ab, ab, do, ab, do, men. Like if you have six pack, you have abs for abdomen. Spiracles are an external opening that allow gas exchange, respiration. When we breathe, that's respiration. The caterpillar contracts muscles to open and close the spiracles. Awesome, awesome, okay. Our paper, 
go ahead and turn it like we normally would upright. And we're going to read about what caterpillar eats. Butterflies. Butterflies. Ready? Go. Butterflies lay their eggs on the type of plant that the caterpillars like to eat. A female butterfly can tell if a plant is suitable. Whoa, so this is a mallow plant. This is what the painted lady caterpillars eat. Imagine if we only ate one food, one type of food our entire life. What if you only ate cheeseburgers your entire life? I don't know. That's crazy. But yeah, so what do caterpillars eat? What should we make note of? Um, they eat the leaves. The leaves. Caterpillars use their strong jaws to munch on the leaves of trees and plants with flowers. What's another really interesting thing about these caterpillars? Rather, instead of what they need, what do they not need? Um, food, water. Well, they eat the leaves, so that's food. Yeah. But um, they don't need what? They don't need water. They don't need water. Caterpillars don't need to drink water. They get all the moisture they need from the leaves. But that's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this into our own words for our paper. So instead of saying caterpillars use their strong jaws to munch on leaves of trees and plants, what can we say? How could we put that in our own words? Okay, caterpillars use their strong jaws to munch, to munch, eat the Go around just eating whatever plant looks good. They only eat one type of leaf their whole life. Not just one leaf that lasts them their whole life, but like if they go and eat that. Remember that mallow plant that they showed? Yeah. If they eat mallow plants, that's all they're eating. They're not going to go and try to eat a leaf from another tree or another plant. They only like mallow plants. Just like the caterpillar. Uh, the tentacles now turn into antennas. Antennas. Yeah. Then they have their proboscis, which is like their little straw. Mm -hmm. Why they how they drink out of the flower. Their thorax, which is this part of their body. Their abdomen. So they have the thorax, their abdomen, their legs, and their wings. So let's go ahead and fill that out on our parts of a butterfly. What is coloring right now? We're not coloring right now. We're going to do the parts. So we're filling, we're filling out the parts of the butterfly. Are we going to do this one? Yep. Here, I'll pull it up with you. So, let's go ahead. Put my pen somewhere where they come. Okay. So we have, yes, it is right up here. See how this points to? Okay, because this point here is labeling that part. So these are the what? The wings. Wings. Okay, what's the next part? The legs. Right here, we have the legs, right? And then the antennas. The antennas. Those tentacles turned into antennas. Antennas. Oh, antennas. I have ant. 
Sorry, I was my strong suit. E N N E N N A E. Ant. N. S. A. E. Antenna. And then what kind of eye do they have? They. They have a special kind of eye. Here we have compound word. They have compound eye. Yeah. So we have compound eye. And that's good. straw-like thing that they drink out of that you eat. What's the thing that they uh, drink out of? It's like a, um, yeah. Oh no, you're thinking of this part. This is proboscis. So this little straw thing is a proboscis. And then, what's this top part of its body? Which one? Right here? Yeah. Um, this is um, this one? Well, that's down here. Mm -hmm. The top one is the thorax. And then the bottom one, what's this part? Um, the men. Thumbs up and you're done. Awesome, okay. Now we have some vocabulary words that we're going to go over. Some of them are on the butterfly body and then some of them aren't. So the first one, let's go over the, let's go over the proboscis. So first word, again, remember that's this little straw thing. The proboscis, so you can see right here, a long straw-like feeding tube that butterflies use to sip nectar from flowers. So for definition, a straw-like feeding tube. We have a simple eye because we have just one lens. One lens. A compound eye, like the butterfly, they have lots of lenses. Essentially one eyeball, but lots of lenses in it, like lots of little eyeballs in one. Have you guys ever seen a, like a fly's eye? No, there's a lot. I think it's similar to that. Okay, so my in-person group is now home. It is my lunch break. But during this time, I'm going to be switching all of the worksheets that we did in class today onto Class Kick and Canvas. That way we can have as similar of an experience as we can. Okay.
and see if I can find a video on parts of a butterfly that way I can link it to the class pick. Here's some of the videos that we are watching today.